Thanks, Mr. Speaker. The Financial Times reported today that UK taxpayers may be forced to foot a £43 million bill for loans taken out by Russia's biggest coal company and underwritten by the government's export agency. Can I ask the Foreign Secretary if she knows who the International Secretary was at the time that the deal was agreed with one of Russia's richest oligarchs and whether the Minister in question personally authorised the agreement? <laughs> Who wants it? Foreign Secretary. Well, I know from my time at Trade that those agreements uh, tend to be signed off by officials. Who wants it? Foreign Secretary. Well, I know from my time at Trade that those agreements uh, tend to be signed off by officials. Douglas Roll. For a second. Well, I know from my time at Trade that those agreements. At thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. A year ago, the former Foreign Secretary commissioned an Equalities Impact Assessment into the government's aid cuts. We have been trying for almost that length of time to get the document into the public domain. Today is International Women's Day. Will the Foreign Secretary publish the report by 4pm today? Yeah. Well, the Honourable Lady knows that in the budget we are doing this year, we are restoring the aid budget for women and girls to back to its previous levels and we're also restoring the humanitarian aid budget. But it is a matter of policy that we don't publicly release equality impact assessments because it has a chilling effect and people can't be honest internally. That is why we don't release them. But of course, uh, I'm very happy to discuss the issue with her further. Is it relevant to these questions? Sarah Champion. Thank you. Following the Foreign Secretary's answer earlier to me about the FCDO's Equalities Impact Assessment conducted in March 2021, I'm seeking your advice, Mr Speaker, on any other way to encourage her to fulfil her duty to this House, as the Ministerial Code states, to be held to account for policies, decisions and actions, to be as open as possible with Parliament and to refuse to provide information only when disclosure would not be in the public interest. The Foreign Secretary has said the government's practice is not to formally publish equalities assessments and adds her view that this would have a chilling effect on the advice prepared by officials. But this is confusing, Mr Speaker, as a range of equality impact assessments have been published in the past, ah, for example, yeah. the coronavirus bill. Mm. And no one will be surprised that the former DFID's commissioning of independent reviews of its assessment work in the past, as well as ICAI's also examining such issues. Fundamentally, it is deplorable that the Foreign Secretary used the fact of this assessment to celebrate her department, but will not put the information into the public domain. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very important that scrutiny committees have access to relevant papers and records to do the job the House has delegated to them. The International Development Committee is best placed to assess what information is needed for its inquiries, and I trust that the Government bench has heard the Honourable Member's concerns and will respond to the Committee's request in a timely manner and provide the papers. 